Welcome back to Central Valley Business. As you know, if you're watching, we come here every day at this time to bring you news of the Valley uh, and to spotlight things, good things that are going on in Fresno. What's good about Fresno? You'll find it right here at Central Valley Talk because that's what we're all about. Today's guest, Betsy Champ, is from the Linus Project. And I know Linus, I get it now. Linus is a kid on Snoopy um, that carries a blanket around. Blanket. Betsy Champ. There she is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you uh, make blankets or something. Linus blankets or something? Linus blankets. We provide security through blankets to children who are critically ill and in traumatic situations. And it's not me that does it. I very seldom get to make a blanket anymore. Because you're busy. It's all the volunteers in the area. You're busy running the organization right now. Or now, just running. And this isn't your organization. This is a nationwide thing? This is a nationwide 501c3 organization, and we're in all 50 states. Mm. And we do an incredible amount of good. Well, you started coming here maybe a year ago or... Just about. About a year ago. And you were making blankets. I was. Yeah, and maybe you had a helper or two at the time, or a couple of other people doing at it? At that time, I was a blanketeer. That's what we call our volunteers where I was making the blankets and then the coordinator was taking it to wherever it needed to go. <laughs> now I'm the coordinator, coordinator and everybody else gets to make the blankets mm -hmm. and I have some beautiful blankets to show you today. But it's gotten big in the valley. It's gotten very big. We started with uh, maybe a year ago we had 25, 30 blankets a month being mm -hmm. delivered from this immediate community. Last month we had just under 250. Oh my goodness. And a we, week. A month. A month. A 250 month. a month. And we have donated over a thousand blankets into the into the area now since last May. And one of the things that I'm really excited about is every district in the Fresno Police Department mm. and the chaplains have blankets. Every now. policing district. Yes. So, and the chaplains there in their car, in the trunk of the car. You don't know when you're going to need them, right? You don't know when you're going to need them. You don't know when. Well, it's not as bad now with summer coming on, but in the winter they might have to remove children from the home mm -hmm. and nobody had a blanket. Right. So we're excited to be able to provide that service okay. to our kids. But there's more to the blanket than being warm. I mean, sometimes it just feels good to hold that blanket. It does. It, it, a blanket provides a lot of security. That's, mm -hmm. that's really why Linus carried his blanket around. Mm -hmm. And, security, yep. you know, the children we deal with are in all kinds of traumatic situations. Mm -hmm critically ill. We just had some lovely blankets go up to Children's Hospital again, mm -hmm. down to Kalia Delta. We're working on a couple of other pediatric facilities to take them to. So besides Fresno, where are you guys operating now? This local chapter, would you call it? Or? This chapter broke off and started as just Fresno and Kings a year ago. Mm -hmm. Now we are Central Valley. Central Valley. That's our new name, Central Valley Project Linus. And we go from in the north San Joaquin County, so wow. all the way up to Lodi, Wow. down to Tulare County, all the way down to Porterville. Porterville. And we do have activity all the way from Lodi to Porterville. To Porterville. And so you have Exciting. some people in those areas uh, helping, I would imagine. We do have blanketeers. As the word gets out, more people want to make blankets. They want to donate. We're also looking for individuals and organizations that would like to really come and be the spearhead in their community mm -hmm. you would be the one that has I like to call it blankets on the ground mm -hmm. you know the immediate need you know where the contacts are and we would love to be able to work with you to make that happen in each individual town and county now every blanket is made is that correct every blanket is handmade okay. it may be a purchase blanket that has been embellished but mm -hmm. somehow it has had handmade put some love to into it. it put some love into it and I have one here that was mm -hmm. crocheted I love the colors on yeah, this it's one beautiful picks up nicely on our thing too so this is yellow Except this yellow. is yellow stripe is right yellow. really a beautiful yellow stripe so <laughs> I thought I'd been doing better with my colors Can you turn the yellow the knob screens. turn the yellow knob a little uh, Robert there's no yellow knob really so probably we'll lose the baseball. Yeah, what's this too. invisible thing here? This is my invisible baseball. <laughs> I had the honor at one of the Fresno State softball games in April to actually throw out the opening pitch. The entire team signed it. Uh -huh. And 
I was really excited. I didn't hurt anybody with my pitch. You got it across the plate. I got though. it across. Well, I just do this because I want. I want him to see there's actually a sphere here. There is a sphere there, and here's our wonderful. Uh, you got the plaque. Commemorative certificate. That's nice. For Project Linus. For Project Linus. Yeah. That was an honor to be able to represent Project Linus. If anybody's watching, I've just had the most incredible thing exposed to me that uh, Betsy brought a bottle cap. You brought this with you, I right? I brought it. And she put the bottle. It's ingenious. It, I didn't want it to a little run away. Stand. It's a little stand. And it's really there, by the way. See? Mm. Now, uh, you had a bunch of notes. Do you want to talk? I keep asking questions and stuff. We have things going on. Um, one of our new organizations that we're donating blankets to, we, last month for the first time, we took them down to Holy Cross Center for Women, hmm. which is a day program for women and children in need, in need. We thought we were going to be able to make our first delivery today to breaking the chains of human trafficking. Hmm. They had a situation come up, we're having to reschedule, but I never knew human trafficking existed to the extent that it does. I didn't either. I'm I didn't from know. the Valley. I mm -hmm. know there has been human trafficking in the workforce mm -hmm. forever. It's a lot more than that. So if you have a chance to, to do some research on breaking the chains, it's just amazing um, how tragic the situation is. And there are so many resources now in the area for breaking the chains. I'm going to give them a plug. They're at btcfresno.org. If you're not in the Fresno area, I know they can hook you up with an organization. BTCFresno.org. Breaking yes. the chains. Human trafficking. So, Yeah, it's, it's tragic how much there is and, and how... I, I don't think we know. I, I don't, you don't even know uh, that it exists. In my life, I don't run across it probably and don't know it's happening. And, and, but I guess it's more prevalent than, the, than we know. Did you see the red, white, and blue one? Somewhere that's a red, white, and blue. One of the organizations we're going to be able oh, yeah. to support this year, I have so many blankets, I lose track of them. Yeah. We're going to be supporting the TAPS program at, Taps. Ar at Arlington Cemetery oh, yeah, yeah. over Memorial Day. That is Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors. It's for families and children who have lost their, mm. their loved one in active duty. Okay, and they're red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. And is there a whole the series of these being made? There are volunteers from all over the country that are supporting this effort. Mm. And this looks a little skinny, but it does get bigger as I yeah, keep unfolds. unfolding it's it. It's beautiful colors. It comes <laughs> nice on our screen. A, I'm no learning green. this screen, but not If you're watching at home, we have a green screen, and anything that's green like a, a baseball, oh, there's a hole in my paper. Ooh, um, doesn't come out very clear, anything that's green. Now, what's it take to make a blanket? I mean, if you guys are looking for supplies, I would imagine. We're always looking for supplies, whether it's cotton to make quilts, whether it's batting, whether it's needles and pins and thread, um, fleece, flannel. We use all of it at some point in time for blankets. We've had a, several sewing machines donated lady, mm. lately, which are going to help immensely with our beginning quilting group of Project Linus. That group meets the second and fourth Wednesdays of the month. Beginning so tonight, quilting group. So if you don't know how to do this, you want to get into it, come to, to the into group. It. Okay. All of the blankets that are made are then donated to Project Linus and go to the children. And that's at the Gillis branch of the library. So we're ex really excited that the library is working with, it, with us on that. I had mentioned that we'd expanded up into the North Valley. Yeah. We're almost to get our first official drop-off location. I, I can't give it to you yet because I North Valley drop-off location. You like that? Yep. Yeah, all the way up in Turlock. That means you have to come back and tell us. We would be delighted to come back and tell you. Okay. We also have something really exciting exploding in Merced. Mm -hmm. On May the 14th, which is just about two and a half weeks out, from 10 to 2, one of our blanketeers is hostessing our first blanket day and fundraiser in Merced. Ah. And that will be at the Boys and Girls Club at 615 West 15th Street in Merced. So please come out. You'll get a chance to work on tied blankets. We don't know what all blankets we're going to have up there to work on, but we know there's going to be a silent auction with great items to bid on. There will be a lunch that's a, a fundraiser. So we do hope everybody can come out and join us. And you can always give me a call, 559-246-7956. I'll be glad to give you the information again. And you can always follow us on Facebook, 
Central Valley Project Linus. Central Valley Project Linus. And we Project do have it post posted on there also. I get it backwards. I say Linus Pro Project Linus. Central Valley Project Linus. Now, you said that's in Merced, the blanket day? That's it. That blanket day's in Merced. So if somebody's thinking, man, I've seen Betsy on Central Valley Talk a few times and another place, I just, I just don't know how to get started being involved, that might be a good way. Just go to the blanket day. Absolutely. If you want to go up to the blanket day, that would be a great way. An hour drive, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe less. Depends on who's driving. Yeah, maybe less. And go up to Blanket Day at Merced. And where, that will be held where now? The, that will be at the Boys and Girls Club. Just Google Boys and Girls Club Merced. I think there's only one there. Only so, one Merced, so you'll, Boys and Girls. You'll find it and go get involved in Blanket Day. So if somebody's at home watching and say, man, I want to do this, can they just make it one at home? Or do they have to have some training or meet some specifications? I probably get one email a week from somebody who's connected with us through our national website, projectlinus.org, and they say, I've just finished, I have almost the, almost finished the fourth crochet baby blanket. How do I get them to you? So then we'll send you back an email and give you different options, whether you want to drop them off at a, at a location at your convenience, or whether you'd like to bring them and drop them off at one of our work days. So it's, it's up to the, the maker, the blanketeer, did you say? Yes. Uh, it, so you don't say, oh, they must be five foot by five foot, or there's no specifications? Just we do have a few specifications. We try to keep them at least 36 by 36, okay. all the way up to an extra long twin. Okay. Most of them figure 10 years old and under are, are usually the ones that get the blankets the most often. And then they need to be of new. New material. Washable, okay. without a lot of fragrance, dyes, or odors. Okay. So if you, if if Granny had that stash that's been out in the barn for five years, it may not right. may not be quite okay. But we do have other locations that love to work with that too. Okay. So uh, you want to get new material, is that right? It's yes. not your old sh flannel shirts or something you're cutting no. up to make a quilt or something. All new material. All new material. And uh, probably material that you have not washed, or would you wash it before you? Some quilters prefer to wash their fabric first. That's okay. fine. Just please don't use anything with heavy right. fragrance or, or perfumes. Yeah. So a lot of people are allergic to uh, that. And a lot of our blankets going into the pediatric units and the right. neonatal units, right. those are your most compromised little people on the planet. Yeah. And you don't want some traumatized kid to get a blanket and then he's allergic to whatever is on right. it so okay so get new material make a blanket i i don't even know where i i don't know where i would start to make a blanket that's why i would go to a blanket day and figure it out come out and join us tonight but people are donating stuff like uh, sewing machines to you yes. but if you have a sewing machine you could start out your own blanket group to make you could pro uh, project linus blankets because you don't have to be in a group to make a project linus blanket we have a few groups in the area that they're meeting at an individual's home, and it's two or three or four ladies, whoever mm -hmm. can get together. And if, if that would work better for you, we'll definitely hook you up with one mm -hmm. of those. Okay, now tonight is something? Tonight is the Gillis Branch of the Library. Oh, Gillis Branch, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can come out and we'll And what we'll goes on there? People, oh, oh, you're going to do some of that blanket making there tonight. We will. Where's the Gillis Branch? Fruit and Dakota. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. Dakota. That's right. We talked right about this last corner. time, right up the street from here. Yes. Fruit and Dakota. Gillis Branch of the Library, uh, if you're thinking of getting into this, uh, what times? It is from 5.45 to 7.45. We just changed the locations. 5.45 to 7.45. The, the hours. The hours. So go down there tonight. Um, you can take some material or you can take a donation or some thread or I don't know what goes into making blankets. Or you could just show up and Absolutely. have an introduction to what goes on. Just show on. up. We do have all the supplies you'll need. Okay, so you don't have to take anything. But take some cash down there and donate it to this group. You don't ask for cash. I don't hear you ask for that, but you could use it. We can always use cash. Because yeah. then you, because you know the best materials, the certain kind of thread you like, I would imagine. I don't know what goes into making a blanket. And we search and search and search for the coupon on the coupon on the coupon. I do. Okay, good, good, good. Cash helps. Okay, so uh, tell us again how to reach you, your website, Facebook, whatever uh, they need to do to access you. You can reach me on my cell phone. You can either call or text 559-246-7956. You can reach me on email at 1Betsy1, and that's the numeral 1, Betsy, B-E-T-S-Y, numeral 1, at gmail.com. Or you can follow us on Facebook. Just go ahead and give us a like at Central Valley Project Linus.
There you go. And, and if, with all that, you didn't write it down or you're at work and you can't take the notes, call us here at Central Valley Talk. Track us down. You're probably watching us on the website, and there's a number right there you could call us. And we'll put you in touch with Betsy Champ and Project Linus. Project and, Linus. Anything you need to add before we're out of time? It's a great effort, and your donations go so far to make such a difference. There is so much trauma in this valley that I just am overwhelmed every day and so much generosity. Okay. And one small thing to help, maybe not such a small thing, the little kid in a trauma, they're being rescued by law enforcement or firemen or something and a blanket is put in their arms and probably very, very uh, big moment for that kid to just have something to hang on to. Very so. comforting. Uh, we'll be back with more Central Valley business right after this.